Hi and welcome to the third part of this tutorial series about Unreal Engine Next Gen Graphics. My name is Tobias Tabasco and today we're going to take a look at how we can create a nice environment scene with the photogrammetry asset library from uh, Megascans. And let's get started right away. So all you have to do is go onto the Quixel website and then sign up um, for their program. Quixel got bought by Epic Games, which is why we have all of the Megascans assets for free um, as an uh, Unreal Engine user. So what you need to do is uh, sign in at the top right. And I would advise you to do this with your Epic Games account. I'm not sure if you can do it with a normal email account, but just use your Epic account, which you should have anyway. And then once you're signed in, uh, it will ask you if you want to uh, kind of enable the permission and link these two accounts. Um, just say yes to that and then your accounts will be linked. You can, I've already done that. So you can see here in my account settings that um, Quixel and Quixel Bridge are both linked in the connections here. Um, yeah, and then you have full access to the library. Then we will need to install the, um, the bridge. So you can just click on bridge and download for free. Um, I'm just gonna quickly do this. I've, I've done this before, but I think we should just do it together now and just do everything step by step. And um, so yeah, let's install bridge now and then I'll see you in a second. Okay, um, bridge is now installed and then it, the first thing that pops up is this library path where it asks you to set up the Megascans library. Um, just create a folder for that um, somewhere on your on your hard drives. I'm just gonna do it right here. And, uh, scans. Um, and then it will ask you which engine to primarily use. And of course, we're gonna choose Unreal Engine there because that's what we're gonna use. Um, and then you have to download the plugin. So it kind of installs a plugin, which is the bridge plugin um, for Unreal Engine, which it's then gonna use to export from uh, Quixel to Unreal Engine directly, which is really useful. Okay, now with the plugin installed, we just have to choose the engine uh, path so that it can install the plugin into that engine path. Um, just quickly gonna find mine here for 26 and then uh, engine plugins. Select that. And then it asks for a default project. I'm just gonna choose the tutorial one for now. Um, you can of course change that later on. Um, mm -hmm. And then hit install plugin. It will install the plugin. Um, done. Now um, let's sign in again here with our um, Epic Games account. So it should kind of recognize that um, that we are already um, that we already linked these two together. Okay, we are successfully signed in and now have access to the entire Quixel library which is amazing. It's so many amazing photogrammetry assets. Like there's even crazy things like food in there and, and whatever you're making, you will definitely find something for it. If Is it Arquays or be it a, a game project or whatever, like they have a lot of cool stuff, even swords now. Um, yeah, so I think the assets that we are looking for is more like uh, something with nature. And uh, I, I do really like, I know it's it's maybe a bit overused, but I really do like the Iceland uh, data set. There's some really cool new ones as well, like wetlands, for example, but it's quite complicated with the foliage. So I'm just gonna go for something a bit easier, which the um, Iceland data set definitely is. Uh, so if I scroll somewhere and find it at some point, I just went to the um, collections thesis. That's like a bit more organized by individual um, projects, basically. Here it is, the Iceland data set. And then we can just choose uh, um, a few of these um, textures here um, and assets that we want to use in the project. I think a good start is, uh, at least for this tutorial, what I'm gonna do is choose a few of these tileable um, ground materials, like three or four of them, and then also some, some rocks and um, maybe a bit of foliage that we can place around in the level, yeah? The Iceland dataset has is, is basically two parts. It's kind of these cliff um, 
uh, beach um, rocks and and so on, and then it's the the mossy rocks that are kind of overgrown and in the uh, in in nature. I'm gonna go more with the uh, mossy rocks for now. Maybe later when we add some water, we can choose the other ones in addition. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna choose a few, and and then when um, you can just hit the download button here. Um, there is a few settings. If you click on one of the assets, there's a few settings and it um, asks you which kind of resolution here at the bottom. 8K is more for cinematics. So if you want to do a cinematic, of course, choose 8K. Otherwise, I would suggest 2 or 4K. I usually go with 4K because in engine, you can, of course, always reduce the resolution of these textures. So it's better to have a higher resolution one. But going for 8K will massively bloat your project and it's, it takes a long time to download as well with all the textures and so on. So I go for uh, 4K just for simplicity. And then um, there is one more thing here in the uh, in this little um, settings menu down here. There's download settings, of course, where uh, you can specify which textures to actually download. I think the defaults are quite all right there. And even with the model, you can specify the lots and so on. I think that's all fine. But um, for the export settings over here, um, here again, you can change these uh, the, the plugin uh, stuff and the, and the project. Um, but also um, you can specify a texture format. Usually I go with TGA for Unreal Engine because I think that's the, my favorite um, format for Unreal Engine. It's lossless and it uh, you can channel pack in all four textures like in um, RGB and A. This is of course not necessary. You can just leave it on JPEG if you prefer. And then um, we definitely want a displacement checked here. And we also want that checked here under 3D assets. It's not checked by default, but I really like to have displacement um, at least as an option if I want to enable it for higher quality, if I would tessellate the mesh and then displace it. So I'm always gonna export this map and then I can use it later on if needed. Yeah. On plants, you're not going to need the displacement. Um, I think all the other settings are fine there. If you would do an actual game project, you would probably um, explore this option here where it says RM, which probably stands for roughness and metalness. Um, and there you can specify um, a, a bit of a channel packing here. So you could put roughness in, in that, um, metalness in green. And then you even have one more slot open here, which is usually, for example, could be used for displacement map. Yeah. So uh, just to save some texture memory, you would then have three textures in one, um, in this one here. But I'm not gonna do that for now, it's just for simplicity, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Um, yeah, and then just hit the, either the download icon or here the download and get a few of these amazing assets and then um, we're gonna come back to, uh, to this later and we can export them. Okay, I've selected a few assets um, to download. They're just downloading in the background. You can see that at the top right here um, that they're still all downloading. Just a few of these rock formations, just um, some ground textures in general, um, a few of these single rocks here, um, and a bit of foliage. Uh, it's gonna take a while to download all of these, but we can already start exporting some of those assets over to start with the work in the engine. Um, itself. So yeah, just uh, launch your project. Um, I've already done that. And then you will see that there is this new Megascans uh, button right here. Um, if we open that up, we get a few um, options here for the Megascans setup in general. And the only thing that I want to change is enable the displacement map here. And uh, then you can close that again. And then we can start exporting our assets. All you need to do is hit this uh, little export button here and then it's gonna export it to um, a, an existing project, basically. There we go, um, it's all finished. So it says export successfully. And then when we close the bridge and go back into our project, um, it, you will see that it already imported all of these um, and it will automatically create a Megascans folder here and put all the assets in there with a naming convention. I think this is fine. You could, of course, rename this. Um, I think the names are not as obvious as they could be and or should be, um, but it's not bad. Like, I, I think it's okay to work with. And yeah, here we go. Our, our first asset is, is already there and you can just drag it in and there it is. It's super simple and already looks great. 
and we can turn on our ray tracing to see how it looks with the ray tracing on and so on. I mean, of course, it's not a massive change right now, but um, once we have built our scene properly, we can we can take a look at how that looks with the ray tracing as well. And that already concludes our Megascans uh, setup video. And in the next video, we're gonna create a proper landscape, shape that landscape, and then create a master material with the new Megascans surface materials.